weapon was given to me as a gift, and I wielded it with honor. In the name of the Crusade, I was the Ash Winner. Alexandros Morgwain, better known as the Ashbringer, is one of the most iconic characters in Warcraft history, although he never really had much screen time in any of the games. But through all the mysteries around the Ashbringer being a legendary weapon back in Classic, he truly became a legend. Although his appearance is pretty basic, everyone who sees you walking around in this transmog will take a second look. So let's take a look on how to obtain all the items. But before that, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. We are so close to the 4000 subs and I would love to make it before the new year starts. Also, there will come more iconic transport guides in the future which you might be interested in. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Obviously, the most important part is the Ashbringer which is the Legion artifact weapon for Retribution Paladins. Therefore, this set in all its glory is only available for Paladins. You can spice it up a little bit by using light themed weapon enchantments. I personally would take an older one that looks relatively simple like Titan Guard, Light of the Earth, Water or my personal favorite Sunfire. Titan Guard is in your appearance tab by default, Light of the Earth, Water can be learned from the Tomb of Illusions Cataclysm which can be created by enchanters and is usually purchasable from the auction house and Sunfire can drop from the Shade of Awan in the Kawazan Raid as well as the Shade of Medivh in the Return to Kawazan Dungeon. Four of the items you need can simply be bought from the auction house. The Imperial Plate Shoulders, Imperial Plate Belt. Imperial Plate Leggings and the Imperial Plate Boots. These items can be crafted by blacksmiths with 300 skill points in classic blacksmithing and are tradable. You should be able to purchase them for a few thousand gold in total. You can also buy the Imperial Plate Chest, which the original Morgwen model is using, but since we have no access to the gloves of the original set, I think it's better to use both the Stormwind Chest Guard and the Stormwind Grips. These items can be purchased in the Alliance version of the Garrison from Warlords of Draenor, here you need a Dwarven Bunker on rank 1. Then you can buy both items for a total of 130 Ironhorde scraps. These can be collected from basically all Ironhorde corpses in Draenor, but the best place to farm them is the Iron Dogs dungeon. Simply pull everything in the first room, kill them all, loot them, go outside and reset the dungeon. It really shouldn't take you too long to get all the Ironhorde scraps you need and usually after less than an hour you should be done here. The original Morgan model is not using a cloak, but I think that the Crazy Scenarian cloak is a perfect match for this set and if you want to use a cloak, you should definitely use this one. You can get it from a short quest in Terrorcar Forest in Outland, at this tower you will get the quest It's Watching You, where you have to kill a big morph named Naftala. The cloak is one of the rewards you get. With that, the only thing missing is the tabard, and now I might have some bad news for you. The tabard is a guild tabard. So unless you are the guild master of your own guild or you can convince your actual guild master to change it, there is at least no way to use it. I guess the Argent Crusade Tabard or the Silver Covenant Tabard would be good alternatives, but the original one from Alexandros Morgwain is locked behind a guild tabard. But with that, we have it. I also have a playlist with other iconic transmogs you might be interested in, so check that out. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Until then. See ya!